Number one is if our urine pH is 6.0 or higher, we want to take steps to bring that down. If we can bring that urine pH down, it seems to reduce the level of a bully that your insulin is. It won't make you sweep so much blood sugar out of the bloodstream so fast. Second is lowering our sugar and carb intake. So here's the problem. A lot of times consuming too many carbs or sugars can push our urine pH higher and make our insulin more effective. And it kind of makes sense if we're eating a lot of carbs and sugars then the body's just gonna say, oh wow, look at all these carbs and sugars coming in. I should become more effective at processing these carbs and sugars and do it more efficiently. So it speeds up the process at which it does that. The problem is it can do it to where it speeds it up too fast. So we wanna reduce the level of carbs and sugars that we're consuming so we're not pushing our urine pH so high and causing our insulin to be such a bully. Step number three is we can work to raise our mineral levels. You know, if we can raise those buffering system of the mineral levels, then we won't feel it so much when we do have a sugar crash. Now, we can raise minerals by supplementing with minerals, and a really great one is to use more sea salt. A good quality sea salt can help you lift the minerals. Doctors told us that our Uncle Ben was gonna die if he had too much salt, so we all run away from salt, but the reality is that a lot of people really need salt. And there's one salt, uh, Celtic Sea Salt, Flower of the Ocean. I'll put the link to that so you can find it on Amazon in the description below. If someone has low blood pressure, this salt can be really effective at helping them lift those mineral levels. 